The topics covered in this video are what heat straightening is, its uses, the procedure, and some concerns. What is heat straightening? It's an alternative to replacing damaged steel beams. It's a process of heating and cooling beams so that it contracts back to its previously undamaged state. Some uses for it is that it can correct damage done by beams hit by trucks, beams that have buckled, as well as beams damaged during transportation or placing. There are two different procedures for heat straightening. One procedure is V-heating. The steel is heated in a V-shaped pattern. This V-shaped pattern allows contraction that will bend the beam about its weak axis. Heating temperatures should be limited to 1200 degrees Fahrenheit for tempered steels, 1100 degrees Fahrenheit for A514, A709 grade 100W. 1050 degrees Fahrenheit for A709 grade 70 W. Multiple trials where heat is applied fast and then allowed to cool slowly are needed. Multiple trials are needed because there is limited contraction for each trial. This can be a very slow process. Hydraulic jacking is also required to control the contraction to make sure the movement goes in the direction it is intended to. To straighten the notable sweep on the steel beam, areas to be heated are marked with a V-shape along the flange edge of the beam. Using an oxy-fuel torch outfitted with either a rosebud or single orifice heating tip, the worker begins at the apex of the marked area, moving in a serpentine motion. A second worker does a heat check, which should be around 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. Within a relatively short time, a measurement shows that the beam has been straightened within the acceptable tolerance. The second procedure for heat straightening is strip heating. This is where the steel is heated in strips. This procedure is used more often for strong axis bending. Multiple trials are needed, as in the V heating process. This procedure can take two to five days depending on the extent of the damage. There are two concerns with heat straightening. One concern is overheating the steel, which can lead to structural damage. Overheating causes the structural properties of the steel to be altered from required strength for loading. It can cause severe reduction in yield strength and plastic capacity. The other concern is overjacking. Sometimes if the beam isn't moving, the laborers tend to increase the force on the jacks and use the force on the jacks to straighten the beam instead of the heating process. This will force the member back the other way without repairing it. Strain hardening develops with overjacking, which leads to loss of ductility. In conclusion, heat straightening is an effective and economical way of rehabilitating damaged beams without having to replace them as long as the process is done correctly.